You should have just finished listening to A Lion on the Path. We're going to answer some questions about the story. I'd like you to please take out a pencil and your reading page 243. Please write your name and number at the top of your page. I'm going to ask you some questions about the story. In our story, A Lion on the Path, the woman and the man were very afraid of the lion. Why do you think that was? Well, although we like to look at lions when we're at the zoo, and, and some of you, your favorite animals might be a lion, lions are very big. And although they look peaceful from a distance, they have sharp claws and sharp teeth, so it might be a little scary if you were right up close, right in front of one. They could do some damage to you, and that wouldn't be good. So I'm going to ask you a couple questions about some animals and what you think they might be running away from in the picture. Think about what might cause an animal to be afraid. Well, we've been learning a lot about animals in science. We've learned that some animals like to eat other animals. So maybe that would help while we think of these pictures. Another thing that might help is think about animals that you've seen in real life and how they respond to one another, or maybe even what you've seen on, in books or cartoons or TV shows. Put your finger on number one. I see a picture of a kitty, and the kitty unfortunately looks pretty afraid little scaredy cat. What of these things do you think the kitty is running away from? Do you think the kitty is running away from a fish in a fishbowl? Or how about a barking dog? Or maybe the kitty is running away from a little girl. What do you, who do you think of these three this kitty is probably running away from? Go ahead and circle that picture. Are you circling the barking dog? One thing we know about cats and dogs is that sometimes they don't get along. Now you might have cats and dogs and maybe they're best friends, but a lot of times when these animals don't know each other, cats are afraid of dogs because they're very loud. Put your finger on number two. Let's think about the rabbit from the story that we read. What do you think the rabbit in the story was afraid of? Was the rabbit afraid of a carrot, a mouse, or a lion? Circle the picture that shows what the rabbit in our story was afraid of. Put your finger on number three. I'd like you to imagine that you are trying to run away from something. What would you be running away from? You're going to draw that here on number three. For example, I might try to run away from a soccer ball that was flying towards my head. Or maybe I would also run away from a lion if I saw a lion on the path. Go ahead and use your imagination. Draw something that you would run away from. Until you're finished, pause the video and then unpause so we can do the next side. All right, now that you've finished your drawings on the first side, you should be looking on the back side, page 244. We're going to keep thinking about our story. At the end of our story, A Lion on the Path, the lion followed the rabbit all the way until the rabbit tucked away and disappeared in his hole. What do you think the rabbit did after he was safe from the lion? When he ducked inside his hole, what do you imagine that the rabbit might have done next? I want you to draw a picture on number one of what the rabbit might have done next. And on number two, I want you to draw a picture of what the lion might have done next after the rabbit ducked inside the hole. 
This is the end of the video, so I'm going to ask you to continue this page on your own. I'll say the directions one more time so that you are prepared. On number one, I want you to draw a picture of what the rabbit might have done after he ducked into his hole and was safe from the lion. On number two, I want you to draw a picture of what the lion might have done after the rabbit ducked inside his hole. Remember, the lion was very hungry. So what do you think he might do next? Go ahead and finish this page and you can add colored detail if you'd like.